What's up, everybody? We're here at the world's largest aquarium event. Whoa. Oh my God. It's most poisonous? Why am I holding it? That is a $6,000 fish. Oh my God. Don't tap on the glass. My childhood worst nightmare. What do you think about Aquashella? The Aquashella logo made out of cork. All right, let's see how many different kinds of animals we can find. Ready, set, let's go. Welcome to Aquashella Dallas. I'm gonna be showing you guys all the best aquariums and all the best animals, like this 15 foot reticulated python who is very interested in these fish. So like, this guy can squeeze. If she got a hold of you, you'd be in trouble. I guess everyone wants to see me get squeezed. How much would it cost to buy one of these? Full grown like this, you're looking at like at least $2,000. Their main food prey is small mammals, rabbits, small deer. You already found a new friend. This is a fire eel. Tell us about the fire eel. Fire eels are super friendly, super personable. They're gonna come and eat right out of your hands. But it's a fire eel. I feel it like is, it's supposed to be mean. It is not. How much is a fire eel? 150 bucks today. And you sold it? I sold this one. What is this? That's an armored biker. Whoa. They're gonna get to be three or four feet long. Are those guys nice? And they're gonna eat things that they can fit in their mouth, but they're not aggressive. Over on this side, you got some plecos. This is a blue eye pleco. We have a blue eye panac pleco. Look at how blue his eyes are. Really huge, long finlets. They're gonna get to be a couple feet long. They eat wood. He is probably one of the rarest plecos that we have. But you can pull this fish out of the water? As long as I don't keep them out too long, their gills are gonna stay wet. They're still gonna be able to absorb oxygen. Plecos are notorious for being able to kind of come out of water. We are looking at some amazing axolotls, but we also have a real life axolotl. Show us some of the axolotls that they have here. They have blue fishnets, they have albinos, they also have wild golden albinos, they have coppers. What kind of axolotl are you? Albino. Do you like more? No. No, okay. I'm still learning. I'm not really sure how it all works with the axolotl. I really like your axolotl here. Oh my gosh, he's my favorite. He's so cute. Wow, look inside here. Look how many there are. Whoa. Oh my god. This is a vampire crab. Why do they call them vampire crabs? They're not that mean. They're cannibals, so I think maybe that's why they'll eat each other. Look how many different colors there are. This guy's got a red top. This guy's got a yellow top. His is a blue. But they can escape. They're escape artists. They're all over my store. How much are you selling these for? $20. Amari, what is that thing? So right there we have a cross river puffer. How much is that? Originally for 2500 we dropped him 2K. $2,000. What about this guy? That is a platinum Jardini. That is a $6,000 fish. Oh my gosh. Why is this platinum Jardini so expensive? Uh, he is a high shine, referring to the reflection that you see off his scales. But he's beautiful. Look at how shiny he is. What are those other little fish in there? Uh, Atlantic tarpon. That's crazy. They're so little, these little baby tarpons. Those are humongous. So we have some Atabapa angels. You guys got discus. Yep, discus on discus. And then what is this cute little guy down here? Those are yellow ingots. Are they parrotfish? Yeah, basically just fancy parrots. What are these? These are really unique looking fish. Almost like dolphin-like snouts. Snout. Peter's elephant knows that they're a Mormon. And then a little black arowana. Look at that yellow on the underside of his tail. How much is the black arowana? We have them for 250 right now. We're selling them for 200. These are nice. The glow barbs. 70 bucks. Oh, what are these? Bloodfin tetra. What's the best deal you could do for these bloodfin tetras? I mean, they're $5, but what's the best you could do? I'll give you six. Okay, final offer, 10. Six. No, final offer is 10. Bro, this is hard. I tried, dude. I'm sorry. Best you said you could do is six. I think I accidentally went up a dollar. Back with the fancy goldfish man himself. These goldfish are massive. Jumbo line, fancy goldfish. How do you get a goldfish to grow this big? The first one is food, definitely. The second one is the water quality. The only reason now the water is kind of cloudy compared to the other tank. Today morning, they decided to make eggs. Oh. Yeah, they spawn. Love is in the air Love at Aquashella. What's the most expensive fancy goldfish you have? $400, the jumbo one. $400 goldfish? This guy right here, I'm going to name him Shamu. He looks like an orca. Anybody want Shamu? Hey, do you want Shamu? Show we could teach him to do some foot. You brought another pair of fancy shoes. I gotta advertise what you sell. Yeah. <laughs> I guess now I know how it feels. Tides have turned a little bit. Hey, don't tap on the glass. So this is a sun glow boa. Nice peaceful snake. It's a beautiful yellow and orange. Nice sunshine color. I think its name is Sunshine. So now we're in the saltwater section where they have all the coral for sale. Sharks are saltwater and they eat freshwater scrubs. Oh no, oh no, shark's coming after me. <laughs> guys, yo, why is this shark so aggressive? I gotta hide. Come on. No, no, guys, I gotta hide. There's a shark chasing me. What's going on? 
Oh he eats freshwater scrubs. Oh my gosh. Do you need a harpoon gun? I think he's leaving. <laughs> I think we're gonna be okay. What, what kind of coil we got? All sorts, man. This is the Aquashella logo made out of coral. So people may not realize this. You have to get an encrusting coral. You place the living coral over the cutout of the logo, and then the coral grows till it's fully filled out. What's the most expensive coral you have? 750 bucks. 750 dollars. Very rare. This one would be uh, 600. This is an Encanthophilia. These are aquaculture clams. So they're not taken from the ocean. They're actually captive bred, and they come in so many different colors. You got greens, pinks, blues. Turquoise. There's like rainbow clams. I didn't even know clams came in this many different colors. Do you want clams? Which one speaks to you? Top one. How much is the top one? That's a $300 one. What's the best you can do? <laughs> that's the best. Ten easy. I'll like 250. That's I'll do 250. Sold. 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 What did the stingray eat for dessert? No idea. Clam brulee. That's a good one. <laughs> Look at all these awesome pieces of art for sale. We got the flower horn right here. We got the reef. We got the cuttlefish. So much cool stuff here. We're back with Nick and Chris, the gingerbread twins. How do you guys feel about me getting good deals for the customers? As a vendor, I'm gonna say that's not a good thing. You could do it at some other booths, though. These are the gingerbread twins. One is Nick and one is Chris. If you can guess which is which, they're gonna give you a free coral. Uh, he looked like Nick. God! Thanks for playing. Is it Nick or Chris? These are the gingerbread twins. One is Nick and one is Chris. If you can guess who is who, they're gonna give you a free coral. This one's Nick, that one's Chris. You just won some GSP, I think. With the purchase of another coral. There were always terms and conditions. <laughs> Why are you so mad? I'm not mad. Just want to make sure. So right now, this is an aquascaping contest happening. We have two professional aquascapers going up against each other, and then the crowd's going to vote who wins. This is Gucci. She's a female cane toad. Oh, hold her. Go for it. They're the world's largest and most poisonous pieces of toad. Most poisonous? Most poisonous. Why am I holding it? Because she can't poison you unless you eat her. Good to know. These poison glands right here, see those little dots? If they were to secrete poison and you ate her, you might die. But more than likely, you'd get really sick. In Florida, these guys have been known to take down adult alligators. I can tell you enough right there. This is a toad or a frog? A toad. Toads are going to have the bumpy skin here. Frogs are going to have a smooth, slimy skin. Uh, toads also spend more time towards land or slightly drier areas. Frogs are going to stay in water and a lot more high humidity areas. So how big can these get? A lot larger. A basketball player's shoe. How long do they live? About 25 years. This can live 25 yeah, years? Right how old is this? Eight. You're a middle-aged toad. What happened to the frog that parked illegally? What happened? I don't know. It got towed. What was this? Flower horns. This is a male. Males get a duka hump on their head. The females don't get the hump. They cool. They just more aggressive. All right, so in here, this is our professional aquascaping contest. A lot of really cool planted tanks. This has got to be the coolest planted aquarium at the show. It was scaped by Jeff Miyoki. Tell us about the scape. This aquascape is a style called Georama or Diorama. Scale is everything. So that sense of depth is here. Fish are Rasbora SPIs. How long did this take? This took about nine hours. This is the type of aquarium that makes you realize aquascaping is an art. We're here at Dustin's Fish Tanks booth. All of his plants are so satisfying. Did you know that Dustin is my favorite freshwater scrub? I don't want no scrubs. Scrub is a guy who ain't buying no plants for me. This is why you just start going salt water. Why? Kill a bunch of shit, a bunch of Nemo's, find the death. Set up an aquarium for nine, nine or death. ten months before you never put anything yeah. in it. Yeah. Time yeah. Yelling, clown salt water clown. people don't get enough respect around here. Salt water. Plants are great. Plants make people happy. It's why I keep them around because I'm an angry person. We gotta leave Dustin alone before he kills all of us. We're here at Viveros Exotics booth. This is an Australian white street frog. You might have heard they're called dumpies. They're a little dumpy. How much is a little dumpy? They range from 100 to 200. This guy's 100. This is a tailless whip scorpion. They have no tail, no venom, no stinger. Oh my gosh, it's like a half spider, half scorpion. Indeed. That's pretty crazy. It has like those two scorpion claws in the front, but then it, it doesn't have like a scorpion-like tail. Mm -hmm. They actually crush their food. They're safe to hold? Yeah. Get in there, bro. Slide right <laughs> in. It'll be all right. Watch how wicked fast they are. Do they jump? They do. My childhood worst nightmare. When you look at this, what do you think? I don't want nothing to do with that. Gorgeous, beautiful, illustrious, hurt like hell to get bit. 
This is a camel spider. You sell these? How much is a camel spider? Today, for you, $50. Bro, no. You would have to pay me. Give you $5. Hey, just People like these as pets? Yeah, they're awesome. Ferocious eaters, they're gorgeous to look at. What is he doing right now? Hold on, he's like digging. You burrow down in the sand. So many people buy driftwood here at Aquachella. There is a massive booth by Pet World Experience. What are you guys buying right now? Wood. How much is this piece of wood? 65 bucks for that one. When they're mounted on slate, they're typically a little bit more expensive. I think I just became a wood broker. I'm uh, buying rocks. Just rock? Very expensive rocks. $5 a pound rocks. How much you pay for it? 100 bucks. It's not bad. Holy mushrooms. I think we found the most expensive coral at Aquachella. This bounce mushroom right here. It's $3,000. What's the best you could do? You gotta talk to the main man. He doesn't look like he wants to negotiate. 2800 I'm just a coral broker. So I'm gonna try and get you guys your top. But I gotta know what the bottom is too. Okay. So are you looking for a bounce mushroom? You guys wouldn't be looking for bounce mushrooms, would you? Why do you have a baby shark on a leash? This one will love you to death. Have you broke the news to him? No, don't tell him. That's a tough life, walking around thinking you're a shark, but really you're just a chihuahua. How much have you spent on coral today? $3,500. You spent $3,500 on coral today? Yes. How does that make you feel? It's OK. She's a keeper. <laughs> what are you guys shopping for? Yuma. Oh, the Yuma. I'll give it to you for 180 right now if you want. I can get him down. What's the best you can do? 175 then. How's that? You gotta work with me here, bud. Oh, God. She's a shark. Robert, come on. Let's make this happen, man. What's the best you can do? He was gonna buy for 200 a minute ago. I wouldn't let him. You're a tough cookie. Yes, sir. But what's your number? 100. I don't know if I can get it that low. Yeah. Robert, I think that mushroom looks a little sleepy right now. Would you take 100 for it? Cash offer. Well, it's actually technically over the table. The IRS never saw it. Actually, the IRS is watching right now, so um, I'm not liable for any tax evasion that is happening at Aquashella. I will do it for 100 bucks. You guys have a deal. So, I get a commission, right? <laughs> From her. Shout out to Robert's Reef. Look at this little tiny torch coral inside this little tiny tank. If you want to get a saltwater tank, I mean, maybe start with something really tiny. What are you guys buying? Cherry How much is that? $95. Oh, wow. I need to start selling some shrimp. What is it about these small, tiny little freshwater shrimp? Just watch them interact with anything all day. Hezbollah, what do you think of Aquashella? What's the coolest thing that you saw? All right, come on, Hezbollah. Come on, put Hezbollah in the fish tank. You're gonna give me another one? Uh, no. <laughs> Hezbollah, what's your favorite kind of fish? I was not expecting that. Yeah, neither was I. I love everything you're doing, Hezbollah. Thanks for coming to Aquashella. He's gotta be probably the most famous person that's ever come to our event. Salam alaikum. Oh, thanks, Hezbollah. Yeah, everybody like and subscribe. Freshwater Scrub meets saltwaterquarium.com, our platinum sponsor. What do you think of the event? The biggest, baddest show ever. Fifth year in a row. New best one ever. The best one on record ever. Biggest and best one I've ever seen yet. The fish gallery brought this massive display tank. This has to be one of the largest, most impressive aquariums that I've ever seen at an aqua show. This is 600 gallons. 600 gallons at an aquarium show. I see some angelfish, some like tetras and small freshwater fish. It's a great mix. So I found the biggest freshwater scrub I could find in the building. You guys having fun? Yeah. MD's awesome. This is your first Aquashella? Yeah, yeah. What do you think of the event? Second of all, the plane, was, everything's just been insane nonstop since. I gotta get him a saltwater tank, though. Describe the aquarium hobby in one word. Uh, it's wet. Accurate. You bought an eel? What kind of eel is this? Fire eel. Oh, that's a baby fire eel. How much is a baby fire eel? 15 bucks. That seems like a too good of a deal. Are you making money? So this is our speaker stage. Now every show we have 10 expert speakers, freshwater and saltwater. So every time you come to an event, you're gonna learn something new. Why do people love African cichlids so much? I think it's because the color is closest to saltwater without as much expense. This one right here is beautiful. Look at it. That's a really cool fish. A red OB. African cichlid people are crazy. You know what things I'm insane have? About 4,500 gallons of fish and like 70 tanks. So she says I've lost my mind. And it's kind of hard to argue with the facts, but I don't. First step in getting help is admitting you have a problem. I know I do. We're back with Sheriff at the Aquashella Charity Raffle. How much money do you think we raised this year? $11,470. This year, we're supporting 1,000 Mermaids Ocean Rescue Alliance. And also, I know we're doing a silent auction for a bunch of tanks that is going to go to Brian Barcheck to help with everything he's working towards and help him and his family. We're thinking about you, Brian. We love you, Brian. Good work, Sheriff. Thanks, George. All right, our next event is in Daytona, Florida, November 4th and 5th. Make sure to get your freshwater scrub merch and check out some of our other exclusive designs. I'll see you guys the next one, George, out.